Welcome to this edition of Inside City Hall for June 2018. I'm Birmingham City Manager Joe Valentine. This month, we'll give you the most recent developments on the Old Woodward Reconstruction Project as it steadily progresses towards its conclusion later this summer. We'll also discuss the city's approved 2018-19 fiscal year budget and how it will impact you. And we'll show you a new city tool that can help you set water usage goals and possibly help you save money when it comes time to pay your water bill. Let's first start with the Old Woodward Reconstruction Project. Since our last report, significant progress has been made as the project closes in on the halfway point of being completed. The majority of the difficult removal and replacement of the underground infrastructure is coming to a close as the month of June begins. When the underground work is fully completed this month, contractors will begin to pour concrete for the new roadway and start construction on the above ground phase of the project. The above ground streetscape changes will positively transform the look and feel of downtown Birmingham. Among the enhancements being worked on are wider sidewalks and handicap accessibility at all crossings, curb extensions at each intersection with marked crosswalks that will help reduce the time needed to cross the street, new traffic signals that will include pedestrian friendly countdown signals, and mid-block crossings that will allow for greater walkability throughout the downtown core. In addition, there will be larger tree wells to accommodate new trees and plantings along the street. The city thanks its residents, merchants, and visitors for your patience and understanding as it works to complete the reconstruction of Old Woodward as quickly as possible. To receive updates on the progress of the Old Woodward project throughout the month, go to www.bhamgov.org backslash downtown infrastructure. There you'll also find construction previews and recaps as well as a host of other information. You can also monitor the city's Facebook page and other social media platforms for updates. And now, let's take a look at the city's recently approved 2018-19 fiscal year budget. The city enters the 2018-19 fiscal year on July 1st in sound financial position. With a balanced budget, the city's portion of your tax levy will decrease once again. This marks the fourth consecutive year that the city has been in a position to lower its tax rate. While the city's tax rate will lower from 14.6739 mills to 14.5411 mills, the overall tax rate paid in Birmingham is 43.2484 mills. This is because the overall tax rate includes taxes paid to Oakland County, the state education tax, and the Birmingham Public Schools. Roughly one-third of the taxes you pay to the City of Birmingham actually stays with the City of Birmingham to support the services the City provides. Speaking of service, the City is proud to unveil a new tool this month that will help you monitor your individual water consumption through a new customer portal. Known as Aquahawk, the online system will display your personal water utilization and will notify you when your projected or actual water usage exceeds your defined thresholds. This new service can help you set water use goals and potentially help you save money on your water bill by tracking your usage. Beginning with the June water bills, you can expect to find information included that will provide instructions on how to access the new Aquahawk system. You can also go online to the city's website at www.bhamgov.org backslash water and sewer and click on the Aquahawk link to register. And now, an update on what some of our city boards and committees are working on for the month of June. Included are some tentative agenda items to be discussed this month. For a full and up-to-date list of agenda items, please visit the city's website at www.bhamgov.org for additional details. The City Commission will be meeting this month on June 4th and June 25th. Both meetings will take place at 7.30 p.m. at City Hall. On June 4th, the Commission will hold public hearings for the confirmation of the role for the upcoming Cape Seal Street project and for a special land use permit amendment for the Imagine Theater in the Palladium Building downtown. The Commission will also consider recommendations from the Multimodal Transportation Board for establishing residential street width standards, crosswalk standards, and a temporary striping plan for South Eaton Road from Maple to 14 Mile. In addition, Consideration will be given to a recommendation from the Ad Hoc Parking Development Committee to continue discussions with the Woodward Bates Partners Development Team to advance their development proposal for increased parking and the expansion of Bates Street lined with a residential and a commercial project. Consideration will also be given 
to exploring a bonding proposal to facilitate improvements to the city's parks and parks facilities. On June 18th, the City Commission and the Planning Board will hold a joint workshop at 7.30 p.m. at the Department of Public Services. The Commission and the Planning Board will discuss the retail ordinance, the sign ordinance, front yard fences, and various other residential and commercial standards during the workshop. On June 25th, the Commission will consider rail district bike rack standards and locations and an RFP for a new city logo. In addition, the Commission will discuss its 2019 City Commission meeting schedule as well as review the Greenwood Cemetery Advisory Board recommendation to adopt a payment plan policy. The City's Parks and Recreation Board will meet on June 5th at 6.30 p.m. at the Department of Public Services. It will get an update on the Kenning Park Ball Fields Improvement Project. It will also get an update on the completion of the Lower Baldwin Trail and the installation of new bridges at Springdale Golf Course. The Advisory Parking Committee will meet on June 6th at 7.30 a.m. at City Hall to review the proposed parking master plan recommendations. In addition, the Advisory Parking Committee will review plans for its public meeting being held that evening at the Baldwin Public Library starting at 5.30 p.m. The focus of this meeting is to solicit public input on opportunities for improved parking downtown. The Multimodal Transportation Board will meet on June 7th at City Hall. It will review bike racks for the rail district, bike sharing, and speed signage for Woodward Avenue. The Birmingham Planning Board will meet on June 13th and again on June 27th at 7.30 p.m. at City Hall. On June 13th, the Planning Board will discuss the retail ordinance and review bistro regulations. In addition, it will review an update on the special land use permit for 33588 Woodward, the Shell gas station. On June 27th, the Planning Board will review the preliminary site plan and community impact study for 469479 South Old Woodward, the Old Mountain King restaurant. It will also discuss the rehabilitation of an existing building at 2010 Cole and discuss a mixed-use development proposal for 35001 Woodward, which is the northwest corner of Woodward and Maple. And now, let's take a look at some of the upcoming events and activities in the city this month, as well as some noteworthy dates to remember. You are encouraged to come to the Birmingham Farmer's Market every Sunday this summer and fall. The Farmer's Market opens at 9 a.m. and runs until 2 p.m. in parking lot number 6. June 14th is Flag Day. Show your pride by flying the American flag. On June 15th, the Birmingham Bloomfield Community Coalition will hold its teen summer concert starting at 7 p.m. in Shane Park. A reminder that Sunday, June 17th is Father's Day. Be sure to recognize your dad on this day dedicated to fatherhood. The city's popular In the Park concert series returns on Wednesday, June 20th and again on Wednesday, June 27th at 7 p.m. in Shane Park. For more information on the scheduled performers as well as the concert hotline in case of inclement weather, please go to the city's website at www.bhamgov.org backslash summer concerts. With summer officially starting this month, come and enjoy another free outdoor city tradition. Movie Nights returns on Friday, June 22nd at 7.30 p.m. in Booth Park with the movie Sing. Attendees can enjoy free popcorn, water, and ice cream. Pre-show entertainment precedes the movie, which starts at dusk, approximately 8.45 p.m. More information, including the schedule of movies, can be found on the Birmingham Shopping District website at www.allinbirmingham.com. For more information on these and other initiatives, you are encouraged to sign up for our electronic notification tools that will email or text information directly to you on areas of the city that you select. You can access these tools at www.bhamgov.org backslash stay in touch. Thank you for joining me, and I look forward to seeing you back here next month inside City Hall.